Today, we're going to be talking about social wellness. There are many different types of wellness. Emotional wellness includes self-awareness, acceptance, bouncing back from negative emotions, coping with stress, making positive choices, and making positive relationships. Environmental wellness includes creating home and work environments that are supportive and nurturing. Intellectual wellness includes the development of good study skills and time management, the ability to challenge yourself and see all sides of an issue, critical thinking, development of your own ideas, views, and opinions, exposing yourself to new ideas, people, and beliefs, and becoming aware of who you are and what you value. Financial wellness includes learning how to manage your money, establishing a personal budget, and learning how to not let money be the driving force of your life. Occupational wellness includes doing work that you find motivating and interesting, understanding how to balance leisure with work, working in a way that fits your personal learning style, working independently and with others, feeling inspired and challenged, feeling good at the end of the day about the work you've accomplished. Physical wellness includes making good choices when it comes to alcohol, flu and cold prevention, illness prevention, physical activity and body movement, sexual health, sleep and stress. Spiritual wellness includes developing a purpose in life, the ability to spend reflective time alone, taking time to reflect on the meaning of events in life, having a clear sense of right and wrong and acting accordingly, having the ability to explain what you believe and why, caring and acting for the welfare of others in the environment, being able to practice forgiveness and compassion in life. Social wellness includes building relationships with others, dealing with conflict appropriately, and connecting to a positive social network. Today, we will focus on social wellness. What is social wellness? Social wellness is about nurturing ourselves, others, and our relationships, and not only balancing our own physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, but also actively participating as an interdependent piece of the bigger puzzle of humanity. Social wellness includes openly communicating needs, feelings, thoughts, and desires to those we trust, and actively listening with empathy when they share with us engaging in and enjoying positive interactions with other people in work and leisure and building and maintaining meaningful friendships, intimate relationships and professional connections. Developing social wellness is like keeping a flower garden. It takes intention, energy, time, care and effort, and it is an ongoing process that requires attention throughout our entire life. When taking care of a garden, it is important to choose a proper plot Carefully prepare the soil, plant the best seeds, and be sure to provide plenty of water and nutrients. In gardening and in relationships, providing protection from bad weather and regularly weeding out negativity helps to ensure continued growth and beautiful blossoms for a lifetime. The foundation of a healthy relationship is respect, and different components of it include accountability, safety, honesty, support, cooperation, and trust. The components of this wheel can help you identify specific ways to improve your relationships and help you identify unhealthy relationships. A healthy relationship is based on equality and respect, not power and control. Think about how you treat others and how you want to be treated by someone you care about. Now we will be talking about warning signs for unhealthy relationships. If you are unsure about whether your relationship is unhealthy, think about the following questions. Is there someone in your life who makes all the decisions, who needs to know where you are at all times or checks on you constantly, who keeps you from seeing friends or talking to other people, who controls how you dress or who you spend time with, who wants you to quit an activity that you love, who criticizes you constantly or calls you names, who blames you or makes you feel guilty about things you have or have not done in relationships, who physically hurts or harms you or threatens to do so, who forces you to engage in sexual acts without your consent, who threatens to hurt themselves if you end the relationship, or who excuses hurtful behaviors with drugs or alcohol use. These are all characteristics of an unhealthy relationship that is based on power and control. Someone who is exercising power and control in a relationship may use minimization and blame, intimidation, sexual abuse, physical abuse, threats, domination, humiliation, or possessiveness. Some signs of social wellness include the development of assertive skills rather than passive or aggressive skills, the ability to balance social and personal time, the ability to be who you are in all situations, to become engaged with other people in your community, and to value diversity and treating other people with respect. 
Other signs include continually being able to maintain and develop friendships and social networks, the ability to create relationship boundaries that encourage communication, trust, and conflict management, remembering to have fun, and having a supportive network of family and friends. Some signs of social distress include a lack of meaningful relationships, all-consuming relationships, irrational defiance or hostility, physically abusive behavior, disrespect for family and peers, isolation from others, manipulation, lying and stealing, anxiety or nervousness in social situations, limited and or poor connection with family and friends, and feelings of worthlessness. Research shows that social wellness can affect our health. People who have a strong social network tend to live longer. Having healthy relationships is associated with better responses to stress in terms of heart health. Strong social networks are associated with a healthier endocrine system and cardiovascular functioning, and healthy social networks enhance the immune system's ability to fight off infectious diseases. Here are some ways to develop your habits of social wellness. It is important to find a reason for being. This can be found through things that we love, like our passion or our mission, things that the world needs, like our mission or our vocation, what we can be paid for, like our profession or vocation, and what we're good at, like our profession or our passion. It is also important to practice self-care on a daily basis. We are much more prepared to deal with obstacles if we are in a good habit of practicing self-care. We can practice self-care by getting enough sleep, bathing and brushing our teeth, eating healthy, exercising regularly, and avoiding negative coping mechanisms like smoking or binge drinking. We can develop social wellness through creative outlets like music, art, sports activities, hiking, dancing, or social interactions with friends. It is important to know who you are. Get to know yourself by identifying your needs, preferences, and values, and communicate them to the people around you. Don't criticize, judge, or blame yourself. Self-critical thinking can perpetuate low self-esteem, contribute to depression and anxiety, and inhibit social interaction. It is important to take accountability. In each relationship, both people involved contribute to every situation that arises, whether positively or negatively. Take responsibility for yourself in disagreements or conflicts by using I language and avoid pushing all the blame onto the other person. It can be helpful to rekindle old friendships. No human being is perfect and everyone gets caught up in the daily challenges of life at times. Rekindling old relationships that have been positive in the past is a great way to strengthen your social support system. You should also remember to nurture relationships with people who are respectful, positive, and supportive. Maintaining friendships with individuals who respect, love, and accept you for who you are is crucial to your social wellness. It is important to be reliable. Be mindful of the commitments that you make and make sure to keep them. Know your limitations and don't spread yourself too thin. Before making a commitment, be sure that it is realistic and consider prior commitments and your ability to fulfill them. Appreciate yourself and others. Focusing more on positive things helps us stay happier, healthier, and more hopeful. Regularly acknowledging the positive qualities you see in yourself and paying genuine compliments to others you care about feels good all the way around. The power of positive thinking can go a long way. A few activities that can be helpful in cultivating your social wellness include going to yoga, dance, or fitness class, taking up a hobby and finding others who share your interests, thinking of a cause that you're passionate about to volunteer with, and planning a regular lunch date with your best friend, mother, father, or other people that you care about deeply. Here are some tips for success. Make it as easy as possible. Don't expect perfection and experiment with what works for you best or modify your goal if needed. Give yourself credit for every success along the way. It can be as simple as saying, I did it when you packed the gym bag in the trunk. Remind yourself often of your motivation. Being present is another way to develop your social wellness. We seem to find ourselves living in the past or the future far more than we are ever really present. As life unfolds around us, we are either days behind or weeks ahead, playing over moments that have happened or longing for ones in the future. In reality, neither of those exist right now. Be perseverant. In nature, ants keep marching, trees keep finding a route to the sun, and moss continues slowly growing over rocks until it creates a carpet of green. Similarly, we should keep going until we reach our goals. Be slow. 
Eat slowly, chew, savor, and swallow and enjoy your food. Breathe slowly, inhale and exhale slowly throughout the day. Walk slowly, take in the smells, sights, and sounds around you. Be teachable. Welcome suggestions, invite further comments, accept constructive criticism, and appreciate it when people correct your mistakes. Be a self-encourager. Verbalize your positive thoughts. Talk out loud to yourself. You may shift your own mood in a matter of seconds. Be restrained. Refrain from things that can hurt you so that you know you can trust yourself to honor your body and self, whether it is alcohol, relationships, food, or television. Be childlike. Close your eyes for a second. Try to recall what it was like to be five years old. Remember being small and free from work, responsibility, and pressure? There are plenty of lessons to learn from our five-year-old selves. Children are charmingly friendly, incredibly open, constantly questioning, always exploring, and unbelievably resilient. Be flexible. When does anything ever go exactly as planned? The world and the people around it are constantly moving, growing, and changing. It is important to adapt to these changes. Be friendly. Learn people's names, chat with people around you, smile. When you smile, the world becomes a friendlier place. Always remember to love yourself first. Go easy on yourself and practice self-compassion. Here is a book recommendation if you would like to learn more about social wellness and how to develop your own social wellness. Thank you for watching.